Hello children, it's lovely to have you here again. And it's especially lovely to welcome all the children from around the world who are listening. It's so nice to have you with us. Now, do you know what time it is? I think you do, and I think you should join in with me this time. After three. One, two, three. Tick, tock. It's gin o'clock. Now, before we start, do you remember the story I read you yesterday called Mummy in Lockdown? Well, a lot of you contacted me to say that when I showed you the picture of Daddy, you all spat your juices out. Now, children, that's really dirty and it's not very nice. So today, I think you should put your juices down and when the story's finished, you can pick them up again. OK, put those plastic cups down. That's it. Good children. Tommy the Tosser, stop picking your nose. William, where's William? Oh, I forgot he left early. OK, um, let's just get started with the story then, shall we? OK, today's story is called Penny Has a Pussy. Shall we start? Boris lives in Downing Street and I know he's got a cat. His pussy is called Larry. I know that for a fact. Penny's got a pussy. Her, her pussy's name is Pat. It's small and black and hairy. And it is a little tot. <laughs> she really is a pretty cat, but she can be quite fickle. Penny's pussy Pat likes to have a little tickle. Penny likes to stroke her pussy. She does it nice and slow. But if Pat doesn't like it, she'll certainly let you know. Oh, look at Pat. She's looking very angry there, isn't she, children? Penny likes to stroke her fur. And if she does it well, Pat the cat will purr. But sometimes she can smell. She likes sardines, tuna and liver too. Penny's pussy likes her grub. She really loves her food. She can be very snappy. If she's in a mood, Pat the cat gets angry if she doesn't like her food. The things that she enjoys the best is a big fat juicy worm. But if she chooses one too big, it can really make her squirm. <laughs> Penny's looking for a worm to satisfy her pussy. She's, look she's looking for a large one, but pussy's not too fussy. <laughs> Look, there's Penny's pussy. And there's the big fat juicy worm she's going to eat, children. She isn't very greedy, but she likes to get her fill. I think she'll suck it really hard. I'm really sure she will. Penny has a pussy and it really looks a mess. It needs a little tidy up and Penny's in distress. Isolation, isolation. It's making pussy hairy. Isolation, isolation. It's starting to look scary. Penny hates this isolation, and do you know why? If she can't get Pussy's hair cut, it could grow down to her thigh. Penny wants to hide her Pussy. She's really quite ashamed. Pussy needs some fresh air now. The coronavirus is to blame. Her fleet treatment is overdue and she cannot be dewormed. But this lockdown is continuing. It has just been confirmed. Oh, look, Pussy's looking really fed up, isn't she? Like the rest of us. Yes. Boris closed the groomers and we have to stay in. So Pussy will stay hairy until she can have a trip. <laughs> Penny's, Penny's little Pussy would like to have a mate, but this really isn't possible because we have to isolate. Little Pat would like to marry, so perhaps when this is over and all is calm again, maybe she'll meet Larry and they'll have kittens, maybe ten. And there is little Larry outside number 10 Downing Street. Oh, did you enjoy that, children? I did. That's my favourite story. And should we ask Monkey what he learned from today's story? OK, Monkey? What did you learn today? Monkey? Nothing? No? Absolutely nothing. T 
tick tock, it's Jim o'clock. <laughs>